Good morning, guys. Look who I'm with. Hi. Catherine Morgan. <laughs> you know this face. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold, and I have her in a leotard and no tights because that's what Fun. photographers do. <laughs> um, yeah, we're in Central Park uh, hanging out, photo shooting. Um, She's very satisfying to photograph, guys. Like, oh, thanks. Perfect scenery, perfect dancer. <laughs> thanks. Doesn't suck. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're just gonna wander away around Central Park and see what we can create. Yeah. like at least have like three to five poses in mind that you know like you're gonna look good in yeah and then the photographer can work with you to like fix the angle for the camera and all of that so it was awesome yeah just have fun with it too um, and I would also bring multiple leotards to give yourself options like I brought four only wore three but mm -hmm. I had the option yeah yeah so. yeah always bring more than you think you're gonna need like and if it feels like it's too much and it's extra it's probably just right yeah because like you know with photos everything can be bigger and grander every yeah. from like what you're doing physically to what you're wearing um and it usually translates as like normal on camera yeah yeah that, wait sorry for the background there's a noise. lot going on <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot going on. on we were like oh let's go to central park on a sunday how crowded can it Could be? be there's a breast cancer run <laughs> there's like more people than i've ever seen here before yeah it's crazy so, town. It's so packed. <laughs> crazy town. But we did it. We did it. We made it happen. So. Yeah. Thank you. This yeah, was so much yeah, fun. This so much fun. last chatty bit to you from my apartment in New York from this trip. My aunt and my uncle and my cousin Nan that I went to the apple orchard with yesterday, um, they all came to the ballet today so it was a big family gathering um, and you probably saw that clip of Joaquin. Doing his final bow and like that was I was so cool to be able to see a farewell performance and the emotions that's tied up in that and seeing all the dancers come give him flowers at the end and just gather around and celebrate his career. It's just very emotional. I think about like how that would make me feel if I knew like I was standing on that stage for the last time. So it could make me really, really emotional. So I have to keep myself in check. But um, 
Anyway, to let you know what happened at the ballet tonight, <laughs> I started with theme and variations. Um, Joaquin and Tyler Peck danced the leads in that. If you guys remember, oh wait, I didn't do a video when I went to Miami. I think I did a blog post when I went to Miami in February and saw Miami City Ballet and they did theme and variations in the show I went to. And I was like, oh, I love this ballet. <laughs> so um, I was really excited they did this in his program. Perfection from Tyler Peck once again. Um, so then they did Concerto Broco. Uh, Teresa Reichlin was supposed to be one of the leads in that ballet, but they announced beforehand that Maria Kurowski was going to be doing it in her place. So I don't think I'd seen her dance before, but she and Abby Stafford did the leads. I really loved Abby Stafford. I thought she had such a nice, like, light presence to her dancing. That she's very strong, but just she, I don't know, she just danced so freely. She made it look really easy. So, and I, Concerto Broco is one of my favorite ballets, so I was, of course, very happy to see that again. Um, it was stunning, of course, it should be. It was New York City Ballet doing it, like, of course it's going to be. Okay, and then they did a piece called A Suite of Dances. This was uh, just a solo with Joaquin and then a cellist on stage with him. Uh, and this was a Jerome Robbins uh, choreography. I really loved this one. It was so like playful like he's kind of communicating with the cellist on stage and there's just kind of wit and humor going in there and like you know at some point he's doing a somersault on stage and he's doing a cartwheel and like really really heavy in the, like the character I felt like it suited him really well and he just has like the greatest smile like oh my gosh it just you could see it probably from the back of the theater you know it was just like it just was beaming so um really really enjoyed that piece like a lot um and they ended it with Toto Buenos Aires uh Peter Martin's piece um kind of inspired by the tango so that one they had musicians on stage for that one so there were there was no pit orchestra for that unfortunately I couldn't really see them because of where I was sitting but it's okay um so Sarah Moons did that one Maria Kurowski oh Jared Angle Taylor Stanley Asquacor Andrew Yvette, the yet. <laughs> this one was also like a playful, kind of sultry, sexy thing going on. So there were only like two females and then four, or I guess five guys, in including Joaquin. And I didn't realize how short he was until he was dancing in this piece next to the four other guys. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's like really short. But you would never know it from his dancing. He dances so like, just so large and huge. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't like my favorite piece of the night, but I did really like Joaquin in it. I thought that he, I just felt like he fit the character really well, so I really enjoyed the moments that he was on stage. The energy in the room was like very high right from the beginning, lots of clapping, and it just like stayed that way throughout the whole show. Um, and then of course at the end, the dancers, like they would kind of, they would come out one by one and give him flowers or come out as a group and hug him and give him flowers. And, and then there was a woman that came out at the end and she was in this all bright pink like skirt suit thing <laughs> and we I didn't know who that was like but they were very excited to see each other and so he like ran over and then they started dancing together <laughs> super cute moment and then Katie Morgan messaged me and she was like oh my gosh is that his mom and I was like oh I bet that's who that was like we none of us knew like nobody in my family knew who that was but that would make sense from like the relationship like the you could tell they knew each other well so yeah I was trying to like document the crap out of that last bit because like everyone had their phones and cameras out documenting it so I had like this vlogging camera out I had my phone trying to capture things and it was like I felt like I was going crazy like overdoing it but I you know you just have to kind of shoot everything to get what you want but anyway it's just been a pretty epic last day here in New York I couldn't have asked for better weather photo shoot this morning with Katie was like amazing cannot wait to go through those photos and then more like family time and going to the ballet and my aunt got a bunch of like really good dessert things and my cousin had made the tart tart or, ta -ta or something like that from the apples that we got yesterday I don't know it's just been a really good last day in New York I feel kind of neutral about going home tomorrow if that makes sense like I like I'm not sad to be going home but I'm also not like dying to leave <laughs> um, so yeah, I actually did look into like staying two more days 
um, and just staying with my aunt, but the flights were too expensive for me to be able to pull that off. But um, it's probably good. I probably need to get back home because I've been having a really hard time getting work done while I've been here because I've just I keep doing everything <laughs> because everything is here to do. But I hope you guys have really enjoyed watching these New York vlogs. I feel like they've kind of been all over the place, but it's been fun to document what I can and share with you guys. I feel very, very fortunate that I made this trip happen and it's been very good for me. I've learned a lot of things. I feel like more comfortable in the city about navigating around by myself. I don't know, it feels like slightly a little bit more like home. So definitely we'll be back, of course. Um, I can never escape the city, I was just telling my aunt and the she drove me back here tonight it was really nice of her she was like so when are you coming back and i was like well I, was like, I really would like to come back at christmas but i don't know if i can make that happen anyway rambling i need because i'm procrastinating i really need to pack like so badly my flight's at 7 30 in the morning Ugh. why do i do this to myself um <laughs> yeah give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching all of these vlogs let me know in the comments what your favorite dance thing is to do in New York City. Is that too specific or just your favorite thing to do in New York City? Let me know. Okay, well that's it for me from New York and I will see you guys back home in a video soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.